the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God in the highest, and on and earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saints Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the Word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their, voices, their voice resounds, and to the end of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, <coughs> Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel 
of the Lord. Good morning. Today the church remembers two of the great apostles, Saints Simon and Jude. If you were to look for them in sacred scripture, you would be wanting. There's not much about them in sacred scripture. And that's okay. Because it's not about Simon and Jude. We have traditions, stories, legends about their lives after the Acts of the Apostles when they went out throughout the world. But again, it's not about them. It's about what Paul talked, uh, uh, spoke about in this letter to the Ephesians. It's about there being a foundation, a foundation that consists of all the men and women who have come after them, which builds up a magnificent house of worship to God, his body, the church, you and I. They laid the foundation so that we could benefit from it. In the same way, we are a part of a new foundation that is being laid for others who will benefit when they come after us. And we do this by our example and our words. It's not enough that we attend church. We have to realize we are church. We are the body of Christ built upon the foundation of others. At the same time, we are building a foundation for others who will follow after us. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video. And for the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over the finances of our two parishes. May we always have enough of what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. <clears throat> Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to, to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bless we you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, our Lord, Lord and the Lord of the Church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, 
We ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I keep you, living out on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <laughs>
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of the Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the Apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to Saint Michael. Holy Amen. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be 